Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, President William Samuel Ruto had a parliamentary group meeting with the Kenya Kwanza members of parliament and uh, he was pushing for the list of names that they had already proposed for the YALA, East Africa Assembly. And the president decided to use that opportunity to wash himself clean from the stories that was going on on social media. <laughs> Remember, the first member of parliament was pushing for change of constitution to remove the term limit and replace it with age limit. <laughs> and that alone was showing that Ruto is a man who is now using this member of parliament to serve his personal selfish interest. So, Ruto has finally spoken and is saying that as president, he will not participate in a mutilation of the constitution for selfish personal parochial interest. <laughs> so he's not ready for this and instead he's urging the member of parliament to use the opportunity they are having to serve the interest of their constituency, the government and of course the political party. The question we are asking today, why did the president take long to respond to this issue? Was he studying the mood of Kenyans or why this much long? I wanted to listen to him shortly and then after this we will look into that issue. To say, but I also want to say that uh, uh, while enjoying that, that freedom and, and I have I will not ask anybody not to say whatever they want to say. But on matters changing the constitution, <laughs> I, I want to tell you that uh, the discussion on changing the constitution for parochial, selfish, personal matters is no space to go. Uh, I, I want to be very clear that uh, as president, I will not participate in mutilating the constitution for purposes of serving selfish personal parochial interests. The same way, the same way we opposed BBI because it was meant to achieve selfish, parochial, personal interests. We will oppose any move to change the constitution. I will be at the front to say no to any change of the constitution, to change term limit, to change things that benefit individuals. <laughs> Here, that is, <coughs> that, <laughs> that is unnecessary. That is uncalled for, and it is an exercise in futility, because it will not happen under my watch. Now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and they are yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing. To all our channel subscribers, those who are dropping comments, thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can I suggest our videos to more viewers. Quickly back to our discussion. Now, the question I had asked earlier was that why did the president take, took this long to respond to this issue? Because this was a burning issue in this country. I'm saying like this because the change of the 2010 concern we are having now came as a result of the previous president the late retire, the late uh, Moi, who was oppressing some community in this country. If you are not with him, you are suffering. And already he served for a long time, and uh, his leadership was not fruitful to some extent. So, Kenya thought that it is time to have a president who can serve two terms, and again, not that much all-powerful. After that, he can exit, and... He can be answered about the mistake he has done to the country. So that when you are serving, you know that 
you will suffer a certain time and then you leave. Anyone who would want to go in that direction of returning us into Moi era, that's why people will always talk about Moi era, the impunitive era. No one is comfortable with such discussion. <laughs> so in my reasoning, the narrative of changing this constitution by Fafi MP is something that was discussed by the top to believe uh, can top UDA leadership. But the reason why the president took this much long was for him to get enough time study the mind of Kenyans, the response from Kenyans. If the response is good, he will embrace it, keep quiet and let the work go on. If the response is bad, he come out and then rubbish this member of parliament. That alone would show that he has come out to defend the constitution. So today, yesterday Ruto came out and he rebuked this guy. And he has told him to focus on things that are going to help his constituency and the country at large. And then the party. Why? Ruto is a brave politician. He understands that if it could, it could have come out that he's the one who was pushing for this, then he was going to remain with a, a rot egg in the face. So he has come out as a man who is prepared to defend the constitution the way he swore, the way he, the way he swore to, to protect it, and saying that he will use every means possible to make sure that he is defending this constitution, and those people want to think about to change it they should be defeated. <laughs> so he's coming in as a defender of the constitution. But I can tell you, I see a president who's playing adverse psychology with the minds of Kenyans. Because his agenda has totally failed, the public opinion court has rejected, Kenyans don't want that narrative. And that is a big reason why Ruto has decided to wash himself clean out of this matter after rejection from Kenya. There is no another way I can describe it better than that. <laughs> you see a rejection, take a reverse gear, again turn out as a man who was not behind this issue, and you look clean. So we will wait and see if Ruto will try to bring this discussion any other day no matter where we will use as long as it's within the Kenya Kwanza we will understand that he is again bringing the debate and we are going to remind him the words that he was using parochial selfish personal matters or interest he said it is against that so people should focus on things that are going to matter for Kenyans at large In case we are going to have such a referendum, I think Ruto has just learned that it will, it will be rejected. So before rejection, don't wait until you have been uh, uh, thrown into the mud. Then it becomes a problem to get out. So he's running away. <laughs> I want to thank Kenyans, those who stood out, to tell the president openly that we cannot go into that direction. It is a bad thing. We should not even think about it. It should be just rejected. And again, Ruto also learned that even within the Kenya Kwanza, not everyone is comfortable with that position. Kikuyu or the Gema Nation also has interest in this future politics. So they, they cannot vote with him on that narrative. Someone like Msalem Dabade and the people who have been supporting Ruto with the 600,000 votes from Western, 0 0.6 million, eh? they cannot vote for Ruto in that direction because they have interest, at least in the near future, they can have someone on ballot. I don't think if Kalonzo and his people are going to vote in that, uh, that direction. So the narrative totally lost to attract the momentum in this country. I don't want to think about this, but I'm seeing a president who has accepted the truth Though we know they can still introduce this thing in the near future. 
Thank you, but I'm waiting to read your comment, so let us be in the comment section for continuation of this conversation.